So this structure class, what we're going to do is we're going to mine kind of deeply and go, is there the potential to see something before it becomes something that we want to put a name to? Because I would personally, in my own life, like to stop stuff before you can give it a name. In medicine, we call it a diagnostic threshold. Does that make sense? Um, and diagnostic thresholds play a role in everything that we do. Uh, if you have anemia, you're in the process of becoming anemic. You don't get called anemic until your numbers drop below a certain amount, right? But weren't you quasi-anemic, <laughs> kind of anemic, mostly anemic, virtually anemic, and then all of a sudden, now you get the diagnosis. Uh, if I do an MRI, right? You actually have to have gone through a certain amount of joint degeneration, joint de <laughs> what's that word? Degeneration, joint degeneration before it shows up on imaging. And it's weird because it's like we suddenly believe that just, poof, there it is. Yeah. It wasn't there yesterday, it's there today. Not how it works. There's a progressive increase in the process. So what we're gonna do is that we're going to look closely because people are broken yet, yeah, not big time. They don't have the name thing, but they're probably headed there. Um, one of my stupid little phrases that I've always loved, big things come from little things. And that's what we're talking about. We're gonna look for the little things. If we can identify them and do something about them, hopefully we can prevent the big things. As I said, the problem is it's really tough to prove prevention. 